there's a particularly fun part of the book where it's a story about a goat. Oh, the you, goat story. Could you share the goat story? I tell you, I come for the goat story. <laughs> so the goat story, <laughs> basically I'm in the hood one day and I'm sleeping. And I wake up to the TV with an antenna on it and it's Spud McKenzie on the TV. Oh. And he got the patch in his eye and he doing the Budweiser commercial. And I'm like, well, ain't that some shit? America can make a dog famous. <laughs> I sure could make a goat famous, right? So that day, the, ne the, the next, the, 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 the day we was about to, the Fuji's was about to open up for uh, a group called Jodeci, right? So it was like the Jodeci <laughs> after party and then the Fuji's, no one know who we are because we coming from Jersey, but we got a chance to open up for Jodeci. So I was like, man, how are we gonna leave our mark here so when we leave, people remember this because we ain't gonna get a chance to be in front of Jodeci anymore. What can we do? So I said, hmm, Budweiser had Spud McKenzie, the Fuji's gonna have a goat. So, <laughs> so real talk, I, I, I drive from Newark, I was in East Orange, drive to Newark, New Jersey to a live stock spot. <laughs> and um, I go in there, I say, yo, I said, you got um, any cows? Because it didn't start off with, I wanted, because the goat was too little for me. I was like, maybe we could go with a cow. But when I, first, when I got there, because the livestock just looked like a lot of animals. I said, yo, you got a cow. <laughs> then he brought me to the cow section. And the cow was too big. Yeah, it's too big. And I was like, yo, <laughs> do you got anything smaller? <laughs> so. It's like a car. He bring me to the back. OK. And yo, I ain't going to even front, man. I spooked out when I saw that thing. It looked white. It had horns and red eyes. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that, man? <laughs> and then the Mexican brother's like, chill, man. This is a rare Mexican goat. <laughs> and I said, yo, I said, this thing is cool. And I said, I'll take it, right? <laughs> no test drive? So I take the goat. And when I take the goat, I put the goat in my hoopty. And... <laughs> The, 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 goat, the, goat, the goat is chilling in the back, and I'm in the front. And, and anybody who's into animals out there, just so you know, you can Google me. Like, if you Google Wyclef and Cannabis Lion, you will see me on stage with a lion at the time that I had. I really, really love animals. Um, so, you know, but I want y'all to be like, yo, Clef on some weird animal stuff. So I get back to the hood. Now, when I get to the hood, dude's playing basketball and everything. So I pull up, get out the car, say, yo, man, you motherfuckers ain't going to believe what I got in the trunk. <laughs> All right. So, so they come around the car, you know what I'm saying? And then I open, they like, what the fuck? And I said, chill, man. This is a rare Mexican goat, bro. <laughs> so, so, so now I take the goat out. I take this goat, man. And, and I don't know if it's because of the, the hut that I come from in Haiti. It's just I love animals. So, but the goat was smelling funky. And I can't go to a Jodeci concert with the goat smelling like that. So... We snuck the goat in, 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 the, in the basement, washed the goat, brought the goat back out to the back. And now I took a Fuji t-shirt, which was the promotional t-shirt, which was the green t-shirt. I put it on the goat, and then the t-shirt said, Fuji's Boof Boof Boofbaf was the single that we was promoting. So now I got to ship the goat to the concert. But the car that I had was too small. You know, we going, going from Jersey to New York. So one of my men's at the time, his name was Al. He, you know, he used to, like, you know, drive tag cars. Anybody know what tag cars are out there? 
stolen cars. <laughs> so, you know, at the time, he had like a Jeep, you know? So Al comes up, and he don't see the goat yet. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, Al, this is it tonight, man. We opening up for Joe to see. And then, you know, he's like, man, you know, I was with y'all since the beginning. I always believed in y'all, man. I said, I know you do, man. I need you to do me a favor, man. Because he had a big Jeep. And I was like, yo, I need you to put something in the Jeep so we can ride with you. He goes in the garage saying, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm like, chill, bro. It's a raw Mexican goat. <laughs> we take the goat, put the goat in Al's car. At this time, we head into the Jodeci concert. My group at the time completely thinks that I have lost my mind. Like, my brain is gone. But it's sort of like the movies when you like, read about Rome, and then you see the Caesar starts to lose his brain. And the Senate is like, how are we going to kill this guy? But we can't kill him right now. We all got to act like we with him. But he's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Saya, but we're going to kill you, Saya. That's the kind of vibe the Fugees were giving me. <laughs> so I get, we, get, we get to that place, man. And I remember Jodeci, the superstars, man, pulling in a white limo. I'll never forget this, man. And then they all getting out the limo. And these kids, they swagged up, yeah. jewelry looking fresh, nice. And one of them comes out with a white pit bull. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I looked at my crew. And I was like, look, y'all was trying to tell me, don't bring an animal. Do getting out of the limo with a pit bull. And it ain't rare. <laughs> and they're like, man, they're like, yo, Clef, chill, man. There's a big difference with a goat and a pit bull. <laughs> right? But we end up. We, 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 we end up getting a goat in a club through heavy negotiation. Because at that time, you cannot have livestock in a club. Like, this is not going to work. <laughs> you know, you can lose your license. Like, you know what I mean? This is not Cirque du Soleil. So, um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm in the club. I'm in the goat with the goat. We backstage waiting to go on. And... Prize goes on first, you know, mm -hmm. and he starts doing his thing. And then he's like, yo, L, where you at? L, where you at? You know, and Lauren comes out, and I sing, because I'm happy, and I sing, because I'm free. She's killing it. The place going crazy. And they're like, yo, Clef, where you at? Clef, where you at? At this point, you know what I'm saying? I'm standing like this, and I got my goat on a leash. You feel me? <laughs> I'm like, so when they're like, Clef, where you at? The goat been... He's been like going with me the whole time as if he's my friend. You feel me? <laughs> but at this point, you know, dude feels like, yo, I'm done with you, right? You know? <laughs> so I'm, I try to like, when they like, Clef, where you at? I'm like, we got to go on stage, right? And then the goat just. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I'm like, yo, I didn't see the goat do that. Then he turned this way. And he hits my feet with his comb, you know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, man, this goes out of control. <laughs> so now, but this is how, how much of an extremist I am, right? So I pick the goat up, because I don't want to hurt the goat, you feel me? So I pick the goat up while they're like, yo, Clef, where you at? Clef, where you at? Pick the goat up. <laughs> right? And then I, you know, I lightly put the goat on the stage, right? So keep in mind, this goat ain't never hear music in his life. So the goat is terrified. Poor goat. <laughs> keep in mind how I tell you the goat looks. It's a Jodeci concert. <laughs> All the girls look hot. They hair is did. Nails is nice. They're in the front waiting for Jodeci. And sees out of nowhere a white thing appears with horns. And ah! the, the girls is running back. They freaking out now. The goat freaks out. He, <laughs> right? And the goat leaves a trail of shit, like from one side of the joint to the other. And, <laughs> and it's, but it's like, it's like show business, right? So I tell my group, no matter what happened, the show got to go on. So the goat is shitting, and you know what I'm saying? And, it's like, boop, bop, another son, I go die, boop, bop. And the girls, 
are so pissed off. At this point, you know, they're like 100 feet back. And they can't believe this shit. They're like, this is why I got my hair done, my nails, and they're going like this. And it's, it wasn't a great feeling because this is not how you want girls to receive you at that age, you know? And um, I get the goat off. But, and at this time, you know, everyone in the group is saying, you know, that I completely have ruined the group before the group even got started. And, and then the next day on the radio, you know, all I remember them saying is like, yo, some group called Fudgies, <laughs> you know, they, 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 they bought a goat on stage with a t-shirt and that said like Fuji's and some boof buff stuff. We don't know what that is, we're, some weird stuff. These from Jersey. Um, but that's really, so it, to me, that's as equivalent as when I saw Puffy with diapers on promoting Biggie Smalls. So it was like, at the end of the day, it sort of like shows you how sometimes in our brains we go through extreme measures just to make sure that the point we're trying to get across is always there. So for me, whether if it's like running, so if somebody's gonna come at me and they're gonna say, oh, you this, you that, you, you know, it's gonna take a lot more than that because um, at the end of the day, I want all the kids to believe if you have something in your mind that you want to do and you feel strong about it, as long as it's something positive, because it has to be something positive, um, then you should definitely go for it. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's better than being Jodeci coming out and stepping into goat shit, too. Well, they cleaned it up, you know. <laughs> they cleaned it up, but Jodeci, everyone was pissed off. They was mad that night. Shout out to Jodeci, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs>